and Widner six. 27 minutes gone. Let's see that Paul Hume try. Let's hold it there. Now you can see that both men have gone through. He takes the path and he's got the speed to do it. Good play. So Mike Fletcher will restart. And Rovers, 8-6 to the good. And witness. I suppose their supporters who've made the long journey up here and watching back home on Merseyside, they will say, Mike, that perhaps they've got out of jail here. Well, they have. I mean, Kingston Rovers, they just bombed a try five minutes ago, and that really would have been the writing on the wall for witness. I don't think they could have claw clawed their way back out of it. Joe Grimmer, he's appeared in all five finals at Old Trafford. One for Swinton, four for Witness. Wants to make it six and a 100% record, no doubt. Spruce in a bit of trouble, does well. Good chasing, though, by Rovers. Ball now laid back to Holiday. Underneath it is Soji. This fella has cut witness to ribbons but they're all round him <laughs> the caravans had, uh, or the covered wagons rather have moved in the circle as he came forward Patrick on Sky at Wakefield three weeks ago for Soji Rovers have won their last five home matches in the big league here at Craven Park. This is their first match here since January the 19th. Speckman. Now Thompson rides the tackle well, unloads to Speckman, who stayed up in support. Chatfield turned his back. And that's the last one. Fletcher's there. Hoists the bomb. Knows it's an inexperienced fullback. That bounced off Devereaux, it'll be play on. Chris Harrison, it's got to be back to six. They're keeping it alive brilliantly, though, Rovers. Chip over the top from Fletcher for Soji's pace. Oh, did he get a hand to it? No, referee says he didn't. It's a drop out under the sticks. Well, this was a lovely kick over here. There you can see Spruce coming to it. Now he took his time. Oh, the referee's right. Sodji didn't get a hand to it. I thought we were going to have another one. <laughs> uh, this time, the referee's correct. Well, after your display at Dewsbury, you should be a member of the Referee Society now. 8-6, just over half an hour gone. Mike Fletcher back in possession for Rovers. I can't wait to see that, by the way, on Boots and All on Thursday night. No comment. <laughs> and you keep saying that too. This is a good period of pressure from Rovers. Remember, this all came about because of the dropout underneath the sticks. But that is a bad mistake by Andy Thompson. He dropped it because of the ferocity of this challenge. Yeah, Thompson was looking at the men coming to him. He took his eyes off the ball. So easy to spill it when you take it, lose your concentration like that. Grimmer. McCurry turns the ball down that left-hand side to Holiday. Try his first try in international colours up here on Humberside last Saturday for holiday. You'd notice any that uh, we, well, I was just about to say that they calm things down a little bit and then they go ahead and do a mistake. Richiers surrendering the possession here. There's another example of a man taking his eyes off the ball, looking at the man to tackle. Chris Harrison, Richiers. This now is. Uh, Des Harrison. Chatfield. Clark is there with him. Chatfield decides to hang on. The Kiwi was waiting for the pass. The pass didn't come. So he gets it at the dummy half position. Now he gives it to Speckman. That's the last 
Bon. Little chip over the top by Chatfield. Oh, that's a great take from Devereux. Wonderful play here from the winger. He was going to go in. No one was going to beat him for that ball. Determination. He took a couple of high balls at Headingley last week. And he knows he's got Stuart Spruce, an experienced in the fullback berth behind him. And he was there to cover him. Holiday. Now Courier. Referee spots a little knock on. This was brought about by that wonderful blanket defense there. You saw Rovers coming in very quickly. The ball just squeezes out. Courier knows it too. He tries to drag it back, but not before the referee's seen it. You referees have got to have eyes in the back of your head, haven't you? That's a great ball to Soji. He's cut in field past Devereaux. Well, Devereaux took him round the collar. Well, let's see. Yeah, he just grabbed the collar. Nothing wrong with that. It looks a lot worse than what it is. There you see it. He's receiving a tipping off from uh, Mr. Valentino. He's given the penalty. And he looks okay. Just checking he's still got his left ear. Well, all I can think is that he's just put it down to dangerous play. It probably it was, but surely that's part of the outfit on a footballer's body. But I'm sure you're allowed to grasp at it in any fashion. Mike Fletcher then, with this penalty attempt, pulled it this time. Mike Fletcher with the snazzy hairstyle. Compared to yours? Yes. Accepted. Curry with the dropout then from his own 22. Fletcher in possession again. Maybe he's got it for streamlining purposes, perhaps. Good marauding run from Des Harrison that stopped by Paul Hume. I've been very impressed with the K Kingston Rovers front row. Two Harrisons and the hooker are really out on the boil. Well, they tried then to get the ball away in the tackle, did uh, Paul Fletcher. And witness were alert to it. And there's a bit of fisticuffs and slaps involving Courier. But witness in possession with Ayres. Good support play from Myler. Now Darren Wright. Myler involved in the move again. David Hume on the burst forward is for Milo. No forward pass. Oh, that's the, the, Milo. Knee. the knee's twisted. And Frank Milo won't want to see this. See on the replay, the leg goes across. Then it twists. Oh, dearly me. And I can assure you that when a man doesn't move, that is severe damage. Usually when you see a guy writhing around and making movement, it's just numbness. But that is excruciating pain. You can see it on his face. Receiving treatment from Viv Gleave. And she's waving, I think, for the substitute to come on. And Peter Hutton has the details. Yes, indeed, the substitution is coming on. Witness warming up number 15, Emosi Coloto. Coloto just stripping off at the moment. He'll be on in seconds. Grimmer clearly is going to limp off. Emosi Coloto as for Milo. His fellow countryman is helped from the field. Looks like it's very ginger that he's putting weight on that right leg. It looks like the end of SNA.